happening guys my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you to a squad builder because um, you might have noticed I've obviously got a new PS3 I want to be doing some new things obviously because I've got a better opportunity with a better running PS3 and it doesn't lag as much which is quite nice we're going to be doing a uh, squad builder for you and this one as it does say in the team name is called BBVA Beasts which you can kind of have a guess of what that is basically going to be so you guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the same way I do Silver Stars I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna um, bring in each player, and then we're gonna show you the nice highlights, and also I'll tell you how I think about the team. So in goal, this 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 is gonna be basically a bit of a budget team. It's not cheap, but it's not overly expensive. So guys, in goal, I've chosen Diego Lopez purely because he's got a 91 diving and 90 reflexes. Actually, this team in general is really disappointing. I think I've won it one game, drew four. And lost two, probably. I've lost. I've drew so many games just purely because the defense flops on me. But the defense isn't that bad because at right back we have got Joel Piera. He's not a bad player to be honest with you. Him or the Danny Alves. But obviously it's a budget team, so I wanted to bring in the cheapest players. He was all right. He did get a red card. Got to bring in one friend, but I've sold him on, so that's not bad. Uh, uh, right centre back, we've got Pepe. The, um, the aggressive lad in, uh, in defence. I like Pepe a lot, actually. He's really aggressive and really strong and will never give up. Um, you know, I really do enjoy the way he plays. Next to him, though, we've got Rami, who is a very, very good player as well. 84 rated. I could have had Kike or Puyol, but I went for Rami because he's quite a good, solid uh, defender. And always, you've got, he's going to be quite cheap as well. So if he's always in a budget squad, he's always a good player to have in there. Sorry guys if I'm sniffling because I'm still unwell from, you might have guessed from Monday's video. But at left back we have got Jordi Alba, who is, how do I describe him, pacey. And you know, you can always rely on him to get back. He'll be the last man back, he'll always be tracking. And if he's got, if someone's got past him, he will keep going on them. And I've got so many games where he just saved me from the keep on, where he just kept on going back. But at left midfield we've got the inform. Gualdado, he's not a bad player, you know, he's left foot, he scored a few goals, he's good on the ball when he's got a good shot, he, he does have a, I know his weak foot says three stars, I really do think his weak foot is actually, um, I think his weak foot should be about four or five, because the way he plays is unbelievable, I mean, he just gets that ball and he is amazing, but at centre mid, on the left side, we're going for Ozil, the German beast. He's a great player. I don't think Ozil scored a goal. No, he has scored goals. But, you know, he is an absolutely amazing player. I enjoyed him so much. And he's really good on the ball. But, as I said, this team was really disappointing. But the main man in the middle was Xabi Alonso. He dominated that midfield. He wasn't the paciest, but he was such a good player. He always kept the, kept the team down and sensible. And, you know, he was really, really good. The one thing this team lacks is Barcelona players. But we will not change that. We... Alexis Sanchez. You had three options here. You had Di Maria, Huevas Navas, and Sanchez. I went for Sanchez because I've never used him before. I've used Huevas Navas and Di Maria, but I just wanted to try it around. And he weren't bad. You know, his stamina was the thing that let him down the most. He was very, very weak. At, set, at striker, though, the big man up front was Karim Benzema. Could have gone for Falcao, but I've used Falcao on six or seven different squads. Never used Benzema. Used him. If he's on the ball, he will shoot and he will be the main man to score every single time. I like Karim Benzema a lot. And next to him, you might assume, was um, Gonzalo Higuain. He's alright, really. He, he picked up the scraps from Benzema. He scored four goals, and I believe Benzema scored five. So he picks up Benzema's scraps, really. He, he's always there. He just... He, I think there's a few goals where people have headed it and he's got the reflex um, rebound. Alonso and Ozil and have shot and he's got the rebound. So, you know, he's like he's like Benzema's second man. But that is the squad, guys. You know, I wouldn't say go out and buy it because I was quite disappointed with the squad. It's a good team. You just have to find your style with it. You know, I'm not sure if the formation was a problem or anything. But, guys, that is the squad. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. My name is OTG. I'll hand you over to the goals and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,